Hello, my thinker. So hopefully you've already listened to No David um, earlier, and now we're going to talk about it some more. So No David is by David Shannon. He's the illustrator and the author. And this is a story that he wrote about himself when he was a little boy. So as we read it, I want you to think two things. One is, even though there's not a lot of words in the story, the pictures really help understand what's going on. So I'm going to read it once and not show you the words and see if you can figure out what's going on. We're going to read it again. I want you to tell me what happens in each part. Like you're going to fill in your own if you want to. You can even write it down and write your own story like this. Okay, no David. Here's with only words. No David. David's mom always said, no David. No David. David, no. No, no, no. Come back here, David. David, be quiet. Don't play with your food. That's enough, David. Go to your room. Settle down. Stop that this instant. Put your toys away. Not in the house, David. I said no, David. Davy, come here. Yes, David, I love you. Hard to tell what happened unless you're looking at the pictures, huh? Were you trying to picture it in your mind from what you remember before? Hmm. Now let's go through it and you can tell me or someone in your house or your stuffed animal or your pet or yourself what's really happening here. David's mom always said, no, David. Why is she saying that? I don't have to do it. I did that when I was little too. I got in big trouble. No, David. What's he doing? Why does mom say no? Think of more than one reason why mom would say no. What are you doing? Is what he's doing safe or dangerous? Healthy? Not healthy? It says cookies. Hmm. No, David, no. Who's talking here? David or his mom? Whose point of view is the story from? Who's telling the story? David or mom? Hmm. So you're right, it's mom. Why is mom saying no to David? No, no, no. Why would mom say no, no, no? This reminds me of my brother. He used to do this all the time. It was like a tornado after he went to the bath. Come back here, David. Why would mom say that? David, be quiet. Look at how much fun it looks like he's having. Hmm. Don't play with your food. Kind of looks like him. Why would mom say that? Look at the table. That's enough, David. <laughs> Go to your room. We're not sure why she said that, unless it was after all those other things. But now look at how he feels. How can we tell he feels that way? Just the picture, huh? The picture tells you a lot. Settle down! Can you imagine how loud that would be? Stop that this instant! What is he doing? Why is she saying he should stop that? hope he washed his hands right after that for 20 seconds with soap and hot water put your toys away look at how many toys he has wow that's gonna take how long do you think it'll take him to put it away forever not in the house David what do you think could happen if he does that think about all the things you see and what could happen to him does happen. Oh, what happened? And then what was his consequence? What happened to him after he did that? And how does he feel about it? How do you know he feels that way? Do you see the tears? I said, David, I said, no, David. And then he, she says, 
Davy, come here. This is the first time she's used his nickname. What does that mean? How does he feel right now? Yes, David, I love you. But even after all the things she had to say no to, and all the things he did that maybe she got upset with, some things were dangerous, some things were not a good idea. Does the mom still love him at the end? Do you think your family still loves you even when you make mistakes? I hope so. I've made lots of mistakes, and my family hopefully still loves me. Just like I love all of you. Bye-bye.